So this is Mans Rashid. May bago na naman tayong video tutorial today. And this time, gagamitin natin ay Microsoft Excel. Gusto nyo bang matuto kung paano i-split yung mga sheets ninyo inside your worksheet? Paano nga ba? Pwede ba yun? Yes, pwede po. And if you want to learn more, keep on watching. So meron po tayo dito sa isa folder natin na the grades. Okay? Kumari lang po ito. Wala naman siyang laman ng mga grades. Okay? So, I have here a conduct grade. Kumari. Okay? So, you can see here the different um, sections that I am handling. Okay? So, kulang lang isa. Baka magtampo ang isang section. So, dagdagan natin. Move, copy, and then lagyan natin siya na bridge. There. Okay, and then put it in addition. Okay, so now I have here my complete lists of my classes. Okay, so for example, lang naman may mga grades na yan. Okay, so yan. So, ang problem dito is each section has their own advisor, and you are required na submit yung bawat conduct grades nila sa mga advisors. E sa dami nito at nagmamadali ka na, paano mo gagawin ito isa-isa? Okay? Usually, nung hindi pa ako marunong ito, ang pinagawa ko, uh, I am creating a new worksheet. Ayan. Okay? So, ito siya, and then ito siya. So, isa-separate ko yan para makita ninyo. Okay? And then, what I did is, um, I drag one K section going to the other sheet. Okay? And then, saka ko siya isi-save as file, save as to its file. Okay? So, ganun lang ang ginagawa ko. Balik na natin siya. Okay. So, matagal siya kasi considering na nagmamadali ka isa-isa, isa-isahin mo rin yung mga sheets na nasa Excel mo. Okay? So, what I will be teaching you is the shortcut way. Okay? Now, if you are using a laptop, you follow the long cut. Okay? But if you are, if you have um, a desktop and an ordinary keyboard, you can use uh, the shortcut key, which is the Alt F11. Okay? So, this is how you open the developer Visual Basic application or the macro. Okay? Ganito lang po ang ginagawa natin. May shortcut po kami na ginagamit, which is the Alt F11 to open the macro. Okay? Or the Visual Basic for application. But, if you're using a laptop, you cannot use the Alt F11 kasi it will not open. Okay, so, ganito naman po kapag nakalaptop kayo. Go to File, click Options, okay, look for Customize Ribbon, and then look for Developer here sa main tabs, and then we click OK. So, automatic maa-add po si Developer dito sa ating menu. So, go to Developer, and then tick Visual Basic. Okay? So, ganun. Pareho lang yun, ha? Kung nag-Alt F11 ka, it will automatically open the Microsoft Visual Basic application. But, if you are using laptop and you cannot open it, you just follow the long step, which is go to File, Option, and then look for Customize Ribbon, and then open the developer. Okay? Pag na-open yun na po ito, all you have to do is go to Insert, and then click Module. Okay? So, this is the programming area na po. Okay? So, I will be providing you the code in the description box. Okay? So, ito po yung code. 
Okay, naka-ready na po. So, all you have to do is highlight it and then copy. Okay? And then paste it here in the module. Okay? After pasting the code in the module, all you have to do is go here on top. Okay? And then run the program. Okay? So, you click run. And then you just wait to finish the running of your program. Okay? Malalaman nyo naman na tapos na kasi it will stop. Okay? So, if you're done, okay, you just close it. Close the file and then click save. And then click yes. You there. Kanina, isa lang ang aking file which is in conduct. Ngayon, madami na sila. So, nag-separate na lahat ng laman ng aking worksheet into a separate file. Ito na siya. Okay, just click yes to open and then I have now a separated okay, file for my Agnes sheet. Okay, it's the same with the uh, Bridget. Then click yes. Ito po siya, separated na po siya. And then I'll go to Goretti. Yes. And then it's open already. So that's how you separate your sheets into a separate file in Microsoft Excel. Okay, I hope you've learned something new. So if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And we have a lot of upcoming tutorials here in my channel. Okay, so now when you open the file, Okay, ito lang yung tip ko sa inyo. Uh, when you open the file, kasi usually you have already the format, okay? So, you just click yes. So, uh, the problem here is that when you open the file, especially if you have formatting already, okay? Uh, the problem is, sisira yung formatting, okay? So, ako, ang ginagawa ko is, uh, pinabalik ko na lang siya sa dati, okay? in merge ko na lang siya uli. And then, um, pinaayos ko na lang siya uli. Okay? Para, okay na siya. Okay? So, merge-merge lang. Merge kasi, uh, naka-merge naman siya before. So, so the same with there so if you're done already you may now save your work and uh, that uh, you are already done and then you just save okay so that's how